In this video, we're going to take a look at absolute value problems and how we could solve them for our variable. We know that the absolute value is the distance from 0, which always makes our result positive. In this case, the absolute value of x is equal to positive 7. What we're interested in is what numbers could we replace the x with such that the absolute value would be a positive 7. The absolute value of what equals positive 7? Well, one possibility is the absolute value of negative 7 equals 7. So x could equal negative 7. But that's not the only thing that we can take the absolute value of to get 7. You'll also remember that the absolute value of positive 7 is still positive 7. In other words, we have two possible results that x could be in this equation to make it true. If x was negative 7 or positive 7, the absolute value of both would still be 7. For this reason, when dealing with absolute value, generally we'll end up with two solutions. However, before we look at the meat of the absolute value and look at that positive or negative situation, it is important that that absolute value be completely alone with nothing in front of it or behind it on that side of the equation. Oops, there we go. For example, on this top left problem, 5 plus the absolute value of x equals 8, the absolute value is not alone yet, so we don't worry about it yet and we just focus on getting that part of the equation completely alone by getting rid of the rest of the stuff. We get rid of 5 positives with 5 negatives on both sides. Now, the absolute value of x is equal to 3. Once the absolute value is alone, we know we only have to consider the two possible answers. x could be equal to negative 3, the absolute value being positive, or x could be equal to positive 3. These are our two solutions, positive and negative 3. Similarly, below it, when we have negative 4 times the absolute value of x equals negative 20, before we worry about any positive or negative solutions, we first need that absolute value to be completely alone. Right now, we remember that when the negative 4 is next to the x, that means we're multiplying by negative 4. To get rid of times negative 4, we will divide both sides by negative 4. This tells us that the absolute value of x is equal to 5. Once the absolute value is alone, Again, we only have to consider the positive and negative solutions. x could be equal to negative 5, or x could be equal to positive 5. These are our two solutions that would make this equation true. As the example on the right suggests, we can even extend this pattern to equations that are two-step equations with absolute value. Again, before we do anything special with the absolute value, we must get it alone. To get the absolute value alone, first we deal with the addition and subtraction. We will add 4 to both sides of the equation. This gives us 5 times the absolute value of x equals 30. Finally, to get the absolute value alone, we have 5 times the absolute value so we will divide both sides by 5. This gives us the absolute value of x is equal to 6. Once that absolute value is alone, we're ready to consider our two solutions for x. What is inside the absolute value could be either negative 6 or positive 6 because we have two possible things that when we take the absolute value, we get that positive 6. This is the important thing with absolute value, is once you have the absolute value alone, we consider both the positive and negative solutions.